Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? It is a general reading. Um, and also, Libra, stick around till the end. I have a fun, exciting announcement to make, all right? So stay tuned. Um, so Libra, I was meditating on your energy, and I was hearing that song by Selena Gomez, um, Lose You to Love Me. If you're not familiar, look it up. Those lyrics, that song is pretty powerful. And I feel like you... <laughs> Let me just backtrack for a second. This is the second time I'm trying to do your reading. The first time I was shuffling, the cards were going everywhere, flip-flopping, reversing, going upside down and here. I feel like something happened and it just fell apart and things became a complete mess um, when it comes to love or a relationship. Um, so I And my energy got... I went from like... Ooh, to like like I couldn't find the words so I, I had to take a minute and, and reboot your uh your reading um so I feel like you could be in that energy right now just kind of like in a shock or a like what the heck just happened um but you have overall energy building blocks so it's like after that tower comes crashing down like you really are looking for something that's stable, something with a strong foundation, going to stand the test of time, a rebuilding process as well, all right? Um, and I also feel like um, I never got this either, this message, um, almost kind of like Tetris, like you're trying to put the pieces back together here and clean it up. Yeah, a mess. Something's a mess right now that you really need to clean up or you feel like Wow, this is, I feel like it's going to be a heavy reading, Libra. All right, let's see your person's overall energy. Flexible. What else? Libra's person's never-ending story. Round and round at the bottom of the deck, underlying energy and regeneration. All right, your person has never-ending story and flexibility. So I feel like this has been a cycle, some kind of a, maybe a karmic cycle or things just kind of never-ending story and I feel like it's your person that that's doing this we'll get through the reading but and it could flip-flop so Libra if I say your person's energy it could be yours feel free to flip-flop and reverse it okay um so keep that in mind but that round and round those karmic cycles you know new beginnings with false starts things not changing things ending the same Oof, heavy, heavy energy. All right, current energies for Libra's person. What's going on? Libra's person, current energies. Current energies, please. Mm -hmm. The Fool. All right, so this wanted to come out last time, too. I feel like your person possibly wanted to take a leap of faith or did take a leap of faith, but in the wrong direction or into some kind of unknown um, and in that song, it's like, you replaced me, like, after two months. However, she says it, Selena Gomez. Um, I feel like your person may have uh, gotten fooled or, or tempted or fell for temptation or thought the grass was greener. Something along those lines here. Um, they could have been feeling stuck, too, as well, or not seeing things clearly with this Eight of Swords. Um, and the Fool, by the way, Aries energy. Could be dealing with an Aries. Doesn't have to be. Um, and Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is like your thoughts, your dreams, your visions, manifestations, or communicating in the 5D or anything that's not in the 3D, but bringing that into the 3D and making it a reality and making it happen. It's also, it speaks of, you know, teamwork, working together, building together, being on the same page, having the same wants, needs, goals and all of that, I feel like your person, you guys were on the same page when it came to that, but your person was feeling stuck for some reason. Temptation. Capricorn energy, the devil, shadow side. That song also speaks of like, a little bit of like narcissism too, like projecting, blaming, like you made me feel like it was all my fault, what you did, like this person could have... You could have caught them doing something they weren't supposed to and they were saying like, well, it's your fault I did that. And you know what I mean? Projecting it onto you. But I feel like your person doesn't know how to handle temptation. Um, but let's see. Toxicity, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, for some of you, could be a drinking, partying, addiction, 
obsession, possession, possessive, jealousy, something like that, insecurity. With that Nine of Cups, that's usually like doing something in excess. It's also a wish come true or a wish fulfillment. Wow, the Emperor Aries energy. I, yeah, your person... Libra, I feel like your person is um, very insecure and they need to feed their ego by having attention from other people. I feel like there's shadow work that they've never dealt with that needs to be dealt with because if they don't, that's what's keeping them stuck and that's what's fogging them from seeing things clearly and seeing what this connection actually was or what they really did to you. Um, but the Emperor, that's a boss. You guys could have worked together. Um, that's boss, entrepreneur, um, go-getter energy. Um, also like fatherly energy. So there could be something to do with your person's um, upbringing and that's where this is stemming from. Um, possibly with their father figure. All right. Could be like abandonment issues or they were never shown like how to love themselves. Needed to lose you to love me. This could be like an eye opener for your person. Queen of Swords, there you are. There you are showing up. I feel like you could have actually called them out on something or, or said come to me correct or no, don't come to me at all. I also feel like there's a sense of trying to clear out things that no longer serve you. And this person may have been part of that clearing for some of you. But look at it. It's like you guys have your back turned towards each other instead of like, hey, let's let's work together on this. Let's take control. Let's, let's take action. Let's communicate clearly. Let's be on that same page. Let's work as a team. I feel like somehow that fell apart and you guys ended up back to each other like backs against each other and i feel like you're doing it in a logical sense where you're like let's talk it through let's communicate let's let's do this you know figure this out and your person's more of like i'm standing my ground it's your fault feeding the ego or, or whatever it is i feel like they're very stubborn and insecure and a little, there's toxicity. But let's see what's blocking this. What's blocking this? Libra, what is blocking this connection? I like that wanted to come out. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Not watering the grass where it's planted here. That loving, caring, nurturing, abundant energy. Um, planting seeds and... and building together while they grow and, and nurturing this connection. I also feel like there was something to do with time or your person may be moving really slow on getting it together here. Um, so there could have been a lot of waiting on your end as well. Six of Swords, I just saw. Things moving on to calmer waters. Yeah, your person wasn't protecting this. All right, we have the Death card, Scorpionic Energy, Transformation, and King of Wands, Leo... Aries, Sagittarius, but I'm, I'm more sticking with Leo here. Um, Leo energy is very dominant. It's fire, it's power, it's go-getter, it's action-oriented, it's, you know, doing or getting, going after what it is that you want. But the King and Queen of Wands is also that single couple. It's the fun, passionate, fiery, attractive, flirty, adventurous, spontaneous, um, energy. It's also flip side, same with the emperor. It's very similar in nature, these two energies. Um, it could be very, um, egotistical, uh, needing to be in the spotlight, very, very flirtatious, falling for that temptation, um, needing to feed that ego through attention, seeking that out. And I feel like this person couldn't transform that energy. They weren't protecting this connection. They were doing what they wanted, really. And I feel like blaming you for it. Let's see what else is blocking this. There could have been a fire sign that got in between the two of you as well. Yeah. Ten of Wands. It was a burden, like, this whole time. This was just a burden. It, it wasn't ending, that never-ending story. There was ne a never-ending burden 
going on in this connection. What else? Blockages, blockages, blockages. The Libra. Five of Wands. Yep, there it is. There's that competition. Too many people involved. Um, passionate, heated arguments. Like strong, aggressive arguing. Very fiery. That's, I, I can feel the energy from this reading. So if you're resonating from it, it's it's pretty intense and I feel bad. All right, let's see. Um, how does this person truly feel about you? How do they truly feel about you? Keep in mind, Libra, um, this is how they feel or how they think. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the truth, but it's their truth. The Empress, Taurus energy. Now we have the Emperor and the Empress. For some of you, you could be married to this person or you could have children with them. They see you as a loving, caring, nurturing, fertile uh, energy, abundant energy. They see you walking away, Eight of Cups. You may have had to walk away from this. You may have had to. Like it's too much. It just became too much. What else? How else do they? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Something about divine timing or being divinely guided or going with the flow or having patience. So they could see you as a very patient, loving, caring person, but you had to walk away from this. They may think you're walking away towards uh, a Sagittarius or a Taurus, possibly. Page of Pentacles and Two of Wands. You're making a decision. They feel like you're making a, or you made a decision to walk away and just go after your own stability, security. They, I feel like there's a level of them not, they don't see your full potential. They think highly of you as far as the, the love and care that you gave to them, but for you to like be independent and make it on your own, they kind of like, they're a little arrogant about that. They're a little bit smug. I don't know what the right word is. It's not a good energy. I feel like they're like, Libra's not going to make it without me. No way. That kind of an energy, a control. There's a control factor going on here. Yep, Page of Cups, see? They see you as page, page material, young, immature, or youthful, or this is fun, playful, youthful, that kind of a thing. But I feel like they just see you like, um, like um, emotionally immature and financially immature. And again, Libra, this doesn't have to be the truth. This is their truth. And I feel like this is stemming from their ego. Libra's not going to make it without me. Libra can't do it on their own. Libra's not a fighter. But you are. They're, they're just... I don't like this person's energy at all. Yeah, they feel like maybe you could be, like, jealous, possessive, envious, overly, like, protective, or... But then that loving, caring, nurturing. So it's like they like that part, but they don't understand that they caused that negative side by their actions. <laughs> oh, you have a right to question. You have a right to, it's not jealousy. It's your intuition is probably going off or going like crazy or you found something out. And of course, your emotions are going to be, you know, all over the place. Ooh. All right, let's see. Potential outcome here. What's the potential outcome? Also keep in mind, uh, you have free will. They have free will. So this could change. It's just the potential outcome. And I'm not here to tell you what to do. Use your own discernment. This is just the energies and what it could be. So Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. I feel like this person's going to come rushing towards you. Wishy-washy energy, gaslighting, love bombing, causing chaos, arguing, leave, then leaving. I feel like this person could have been giving to two or they were very unbalanced. Ooh. Six of Swords. 
Libra, I feel like you're done. You're you're moving away from this person. They're, they constantly hurt you, leave you, come back to you, hurt you, leave you, come back to you, that cycle. And I feel like you're finally like, I'm done. I'm cleaning up my life, and I'm creating my own stability. But let's see to change. Potential outcome, please, for Libra. Potential outcome for Libra. The Hanged Man in reverse. Pisces energy. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. I don't think you're changing your mind on this. Yeah, look, you're rejecting. You're rejecting this person, Libra, because it was way too painful. There was too much betrayal, backstabbing, lies, deceit. You're like, I don't even care what it's going to cost me to, to do this on my own, to start over, to rebuild my life. I don't care. You don't care about this big, shiny pentacle right now. You're too busy. Like, I just need to move on to calmer waters and, and clean up the mess in the, that this made in my life and rebuild. I mean, there could be a family... Again, you could be married to this person. There could be a family dynamic, children, something like that, or your family is getting involved, or theirs is, or, or something like that. But I think you're you're done, Libra. For some of you, you may take this person back, and that's that's your lesson. You still have to learn, all right? Because I don't see things. Look, yeah, they're just gonna keep breaking your heart over and over again, and they're not gonna care. They're not going to care. And I, I don't want to be like the bearer of bad news here. Don't get mad. I'm just delivering the message. I just feel like they don't care. There's, they're too much about themselves, their needs, their wishes, their happiness, their addiction, if that's the case. Whatever that is. Right? It's like, what, you won't take me back? What are you talking about? Like, crossed arms. I don't. I didn't hurt you. It's your fault that I hurt you. Like, I feel like it's that kind of energy. It's rough. It's rough energy. Ooh, all right. Biggest obstacle for Libra to overcome. Biggest obstacle. We'll get into that right after. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back right, into Libra, past lives, projections. See, this person is projecting everything onto you. It's your fault. It's your fault. I did this because you. I did this because you. See what I'm saying? And that's, that's definitely a control thing or a narcissistic... Um, tendency there projecting and past lives so this could be really hard because there was karma to fulfill in this lifetime from a past life i there's karma written all over this cycles karma karmic energies lessons hard, hard lessons yeah the dream Overcoming the, the thought that when this first happened, this connection, and maybe for a while it was really good and really strong, and now overcoming the fact that, like, this isn't what you thought it was, this isn't what you signed up for, that dream, and letting go of what could have been, and just getting into the reality of what this is, you know? Heavy, heavy stuff. All right, Libra, messages. What other messages do we have? What other messages for Libra? What other messages? Ooh. Receive. Open-minded, abundant, ready. It's your time to receive. Separation, no contact, 5D, dreams, nightmares. Focus on your own happiness and masculine. Your divine masculine, your twin or soulmate is seeking you. So you could have somebody else coming towards you. Everybody has feminine, masculine energies, you guys, so it doesn't matter about that. But there could be a twin or soulmate seeking you. 
So leaving this behind might be the best thing for you because the more you hang on to this, the less chance you're going to meet that person, you know. Yep. Vibration, energy and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire, which I feel like that's what you're working on here, right? All right, now look at denial, repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface. I feel like that's your person. They're in denial. They're just blaming you. For some of you, that could be you being in denial. And free will, choices, decisions, contact, inaction. Action cannot be forced. You cannot change this person. You cannot change this person. They have to want to change themselves. Oh, all right, what else? Twin flames, see? I feel like it's that karmic twin flame and soulmate. Look at that soul connection partner. There's a contract. There was a, a twin flame soulmate karmic contract here. And then coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. You may need to rely on your friends, family, people close to you right now to help you get through this. All right, yeah, not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, call, person, boundaries, still angry. Coffin, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation. Yep, and look at girl with a snake, empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed or used, enabled, and boundaries. They could have even used seduction to get to you, but now you're healing. You're healing from this. I feel like you're done. Yeah. So maybe you are starting off the new year in a good way. You're, you're putting an end to a karmic cycle here. A, a hard lesson. <laughs> I feel like this was not easy. All right. What would this person like to say to you if they could? You are my best friend and I cherish our friendship above all others. I worried that you moved on and this is all in my head. Is it? Do you still think about me? Yeah. I don't know, Libra. It's a tough one here. Tough reading, but that is what I have for you this week. So please um, 